guys, welcome to another Zebra Adventure. Um, first off, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out zebratutorials.com for a lot of zebra tutorials and adsrsounds.com for a lot of zebra and other synth sounds. Um, last night I was making a patch and I thought it was kind of cool. So um, my idea was to share it with the herd. <laughs> Get it? Because we're all zebras. And zebras live in herds. Um, so this is the patch and first I'll play it to you. It's so fancy and it consists of four different parts and you hear that there's uh, quite some stuff going on in there. First we have the first oscillator and this one I like the most and it was also the, the most simple sound. It sounds like that, but it's really ambient and I, I really liked it. And um, why I really like it is because I use the band works and now we accentuate certain harmonics that are only in this uh, frequency band because this is a band pass and a band reject filter. And you can hear that when I, I'll lower the volume first, when I start to drag this. There are quite some sounds in there, if I set it to no effect, this is the original sound. But I didn't want all the bass in there, I just wanted the very small part of the sound that I liked. And that was this part. I think it's pretty beautiful through a reverb. And you could, you could even use this just by itself if you now um, use an LFO to modulate the tuning for example. Let's see what we can get. Uh, let's set the LFO to gate, let's set it to user and to 1 16th. And then we can make our melody. Of course we need to give it an amount. So we'll set it to 1 octave. And I really like that. So that is why I'm going to save this oscillator by right clicking and saying uh, and works melody. What's the date? That's right. Okay, um, so that was the first part and I'm going to disable the this LFO now, that was just an example. Then we have the second part, very simple, just a, sort of a bass and it's, let's see, it also has a filter in the oscillator effects. Um, the wave looks like this, very simple and that's all there is to it. Yeah, it's set to dual and I made it a little bit more stereo by dragging the width up and a little bit of a detuning uh, for cents. And we could modulate this with um, a very slow envelope perhaps. Let's give the envelope uh, some delay before it triggers. Perfect. Next part, um, oscillator 3. Um, we got uh, also a filter in the oscillator effect. I think this might be the same, almost the same oscillator. Um, the reset is on, the tune is also 4, and tuning is minus 12 and the wave looks like this so it's the same the same exact wave and it's growing going through a filter filter one and that one is modulated by an LFO and there's this one it's set to saw down and that's why I get these plugs and it's set to 116 and of course don't forget 
to set it to gauge because then it will re-trigger uh, every time you press a note. So that's that part and you can also see this fancy zebra wire here and that's going through the XMF filter and that means that the XMF filter um, is listening to the oscillator 3 um, for side chaining and I didn't use that now because I um, didn't uh, set the filter FM but if we listen to this lane first okay and then we increase the filter FM now it's modulating the cutoff with um, with the sound of oscillator 3 so you can hear that um, when I start to change oscillator 3 now so that's a cool trick. Um, I talked about it already, so I won't explain uh, everything about that. Um, but for now, we don't use that, so we might as well say I receive sidechain from 4. It doesn't matter. Then, here, first we have the noise, and that's just plain old noise, like that. It's going through a shaper to make it a little bit more aggressive and to accentuate the highs. I said here the high out, I set to the maximum value. value. So that makes it like that. And then filter 2, which is uh, low pass excite. It's all the way down and the cutoff is controlled by MCG2. And there is this rhythm. And the cutoff is also controlled by LFO2, so that was the same as was uh, on this sound. So it's giving the uh, that just plain 16th rhythm. Okay, easy enough. And then that one is going through the XMF filter, and that is what's making the melody. So. Um, I set the resonance very high, I set the cutoff very low, I set the low pass 4, it's on parallel. Uh, normally it will be on single, but you set it to parallel. And then I choose an L pass filter in the second slot. And I modulate the cutoff with the LFO3. And that is this one. It's also set to user 116 gate, uh, that whole story. And now you can make your melody here. So that melody is made just by uh, modulating the cutoff because the resonance is, is so high and this, uh, this should be a familiar concept to you but because the resonance is very high it will feedback the filter and the feedback tone, if I disable this this is the feedback tone so we make melodies with that and I always love that sound. Um, and the other thing about this lane is that it goes through bus 1. And if we check here, we can see that bus 1 has a delay on it. And after that, it's mixed into uh, the master bus. So I have a little bit dry here. This return knob, this is just the main output of bus 1. And then it's the main, the most part of it is going through the reverb as well, um, together with the rest of the sound. And we can right click here in the an uh, LFO and we can quantize it to 12 for example. sound um, and that's it
it's it's not that difficult. Just uh, just a lot of stuff going on. Um, but that's it. I uh, have, have fun with that, and I'll see you next week. Thanks.